Not a dream. Not a dream. If it is, I'll never let it stop. In the attic of my parents, I found this box full of tapes with music from the 90s. I recorded on Tesca multi-track recorders. It would be great to hear my music again and let the tape roll. I had the 488, but I sold it long time ago. Then we had the 238, but it was stolen from our rehearsal room. And the dream of every musician was the 688. It was quite expensive in those days. It has this wonderful meter bridge and eight mic ins you can record simultaneously. It has insert on every channel, even on the tape returns. It has a nice mixer with a semi parametric equalizer and even some kind of a mix B function. Nice. It has all kinds of transport, locator and MIDI sync functions. And a switchable routing matrix you can even save if you replace the internal battery. So I checked eBay for some broken ones. And I found one with all kinds of problems. No transport function, old belts, Scratchy parts, the function keys don't work anymore, you name it. But for this good price I took the risk and bought it. So let's see if we can repair it. After a check it was obvious that a lot of keys don't work anymore. So we have to get some new micro switches and replace the old ones. Just beware that some of them have two legs and some of them four, so check first before you order. Now let's start with the motor. I already tried a new belt and then I noticed that the motor is defect. It has the wrong speed, it is noisy and loud, so we also have to replace it. So I put it on my bench PSU with 30 volts on it for a whole afternoon. Cleaned it with contact spray and a drop of oil. And you really can hear how it heals over the time. Now the motor gets back in with a new belt. A common problem with this old Tescam multi-trackers is the broken keys. The people came up with all kinds of solutions but I just glued them. With enough patience it did the job for me. Now it's time to clean the transport section. With the good old isopropanol. So just take a Q-tip and clean the heads and the capstan, but better don't clean the pinch roller with isopropanol, it's not good for the gun. Then I demagnetize all the parts. With my own DIY demagnetizer I sell in my non-existing web shop for a thousand dollars. And then I check the speed with my old test tape and it's right back where it should be. And I also replace some caps on the controller PCB just to be safe for the future. It deserves some new knobs just for the beauty. Because the side panels were broken when the package arrived I had to get some new ones, so I contacted Synthols and he made me really good wooden replacements. He did a great job, the Synthi 70s style, just looking cool. Et voilà, here it is, in his whole analog B 
beauty again. The 688 Tesca multi-track recorder. So you can record your music without a computer, just on a tape. If you're crazy and silly enough to want that in 2021. But if you watch this video till now, you already know why it's worth it. So have a nice night and thank you for watching. Ciao.